dear students i welcome all of you for this uh, uh, youtube channel uh, dear state syllabus students and teachers i am yogish sahadri lecturer in english from chitradurga karnataka i am so happy to take up a session for all of you and uh, this is the first part from the uh, 10th standard state syllabus textbook a hero the first lesson a hero written by r k narayan dear students this story a hero is a very fantastic and a curious and also a thought provoking story written by r k narayan and i appreciate the committee people uh, who have prescribed this story for the state syllabus students in karnataka a hero as i told you that it's a fantastic story and an enthusiastic story which deals with uh, a, a boy called swami he is a secondary uh, school boy who is studying in between uh, uh, high school and middle school so such a, a witty boy uh, swami is a kind of witty boy you know he is something you know uh, always thinks of escaping from the responsibilities but very witty and uh, who answers all of a sudden uh, to his father something like that and there are uh, many more characters in the story along with swami here the the story deals with uh, the boy swami and uh, his uh, you know uh, unexpected turns uh, some events unexpected events take place or you uh, know uh, uh, that goes on in his life and uh, there is a, a good challenge uh you know a very uh, something very funny challenge between uh, the father and the son so he deals with that so that the, there are some the main characters are in the story are swami the boy and his father who is a lawyer and uh, there is uh, swami's granny and the mother and uh, you know um, there is one more character the, which is the, which is the which is one of the main characters that is the burglar or you can call a housebreaker uh, who was caught by swami at the end of the story and there are some small characters which don't uh, directly appear in the story mani for example his close friend his chum uh, swami's close friend and muni swami's father so that references come and uh, uh, there is the reference of headmaster at the end of the story and his teachers and friends and the police also enter uh, police also enter at the end of the story so these are the main characters anyway please remember dear students swami is the main character the leading character in the story a hero and who uh, comes out uh, uh, who swami who appears to be a hero Uh, at the end of the story uh, because of his you know unexpected turn uh, unexpected turns of events in his life uh, let me read out uh, the lesson the first part i i only deal with the first part in this uh, video a hero written by rk narayan i request all uh, dear students to keep your textbook in the hand and i also tell the meanings of the uh, difficult words which are used in the textbook so please uh, uh, try to underline and take the meanings a hero written by r k narayan for swami events took an unexpected turn father looked over the newspaper he was reading under the hall lamp and said swami listen to this news has been received about the bravery of a village lad who while returning home by the jungle path came face to face with a tiger the paragraph described the fight the boy had with a tiger and has flight up the tree where he stayed half a day till some more some people came that way and killed the tiger after reading it through father looked at swami fixedly and asked what do you say to that swami said i think he must have been a very strong and grown up person not a boy at all how could a boy fight a tiger you think you are wiser than the newspaper father sneered a man may have the strength of an elephant and yet to be a coward whereas another may have the strength of the straw but if he has courage he can do anything courage is everything please note this point my dear students please underline this courage is everything 
strength and age are not important. This is one of the best lines said by the father character in the story. Swami disputed the theory. How can it be father? Suppose I have all the courage, what, what could I do if a tiger should attack me? Leave alone strength. Can you prove you have courage? Let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room. A frightful proposition. Swami thought. He had always slept uh, beside his granny in the passage and any change in this arrangement kept him trembling and awake all night. He hoped at first that father was only joking. He mumbled weakly, yes, and tried to change the subject. He said very loudly and with a great deal of enthusiasm. We are going to admit even elders in our cricket club here after father. We are buying brand new bats and balls. Our captain has asked me to tell you. We will see about that later. Father cut in. You must sleep alone hereafter. Swami realized that the matter had gone beyond his control. From a challenge, it had become a command. From a challenge, it had become a command. Please underline this. He knew his father's tenacity at such moments. From the first of next month, I will sleep alone, father. No, you must do it now. It is disgraceful sleeping beside granny or uh, mother like a baby. You are in the second form and I don't like the way you are being brought up. He said and looked at his wife who was rocking the cradle. Why do you look at me while you say it? She asked. I hardly know anything about the boy. No, no, I, I don't mean you, said father. If you mean your father is spoiling him, tell her so. I don't look at me. And don't look at me, she said and turned away. So this is the first part actually what the writer writes. Okay, um, and uh, a hero. You can as as the title of this story suggests, you can guess that what actually there is. There must be something heroistic, heroistic, uh, uh, adventurous thing or something special, uh, something uh, some kind of achievement the the boy did. I think right. And because of, uh, as a sign of curiosity, the writer, you know, brings that or gives the idea in the beginning of the story, in the beginning of the narration itself. Look at this explanation. Please keep your textbook in hand and a pen or pencil with you. For Swami, events took an unexpected turn. As I told you that Swami is the leading character of the story, the boy who is studying in second form, that means between uh, the middle school and uh, high school, so nearly some 7th to 8th, 7th, 8th, 9th standard boy. And the father looked over the newspaper, actually in his life, in Swami's life, the writer says, the writer gives the clue that uh, some things take unexpected turn in Swami's life. Sometimes it happens in everybody's life, you know, we don't, we can't guess when the, how the things come and uh, what then that situations or the events make us something stronger sometimes or sometimes weaker. So unexpected turn, uh, such things also took place in Swami's life, the boy, a lad. Okay, uh, so the story goes like this, or begins like this. His father looked over the newspaper, he was reading under the hall lamp. So this suggests us that it was the night almost, uh, after supper, uh, usually, you know, uh, the family members all sit in the hall and uh, father, uh, here the father, uh, Swami's father was reading the newspaper uh, under the, uh, you know, hall light, hall lamp and said, Swami was also there. Usually he is a very, in, he, the father character is very interesting here. You know, he wants his son uh, to be disciplined and he wants his son to be grown in a very systematic way and in, in an independent way and something uh, his son he wants his son to be something challenging so such a such a father who has some good expectations about the boy about the son so he said swami listen to this news has been received in this newspaper it's reported about the bravery of a village lad uh, who while returning home by the jungle path came face to face with a tiger. So very interesting uh, incident it is actually. The, the writer also brings it in the narration of the story. Uh, father usually, you know, he has the habit of telling some interesting things, some interesting facts to his son to make him something, you know, something brilliant or brave. So such things he used to discuss with a son. 
so such a father he is so as usual uh, he uh, he he tried his level best to draw the attention of the boy towards the report which was reported in the newspaper he was reading so he said swami he called out his son and said see there is a news report in this uh, newspaper uh, it says that uh, a village lad underline lad lad means a boy a village boy you know came face to face with a tiger underline this face to face means directly he, there you know the boy uh, had to fight with a tiger you know and what he did he, after fighting with a tiger you know he was able to escape uh, by using his wit you know and he fled up the tree uh, and he waited there for half a day look at this swami listen to this news has been received news has been received please underline has been received this is called passive voice passive voice structure in english language news has been received about the bravery of a village boy so it was reported in the newspaper about the village boy and his bravery what he did who while returning home by the jungle path it was a jungle path and the boy village boy was going back to his village uh, in the jungle path in the jungle way came face to face with a tiger so anyway uh, it it was a jungle and there was a uh, chance uh, for the boy to face the tiger the paragraph described uh the fight the boy had with the tiger so the boy village boy had to fight with the tiger because it was you know something you know um, he could not uh, he could not escape from that you know and he had to face the tiger at that time because he was all alone and he flight up the tree where he stayed half a day till some people came that way and killed the tiger so he that that boy used his ready wit or knowledge or you know is is uh, a sense of you know uh, a point that how what we should do at that different difficult situations so such a boy he was the village boy what he did after fighting with the boy and uh, he, he flight up the tree flight up underline please it's a phrasal verb flight up is a phrasal verb in english language means stepped up to escape stepped up to escape so where did he go to he went to the he went up the tree and sat there for half a day more than half a day to escape from the tiger at least he used his knowledge there he used his brilliancy there he used his ready intelligence there to escape from the uh, tiger he could not feel fear okay if uh, if there were any other boys uh, in his place the village lads place uh, definitely somebody would be oh, there was a chance that somebody would be uh, felt fear and would be fearful and would have uh, been uh, would have been a prey uh, to the tiger so that's why uh, that boy's uh, you know uh, uh, intelligence or bravery was reported in the newspaper so that uh, father drew the attention of the boy towards the newspaper report after reading it through father looked at swami fixedly so he was just after saying that after explaining that and reading that he swami swami's father looked at the boy swami fixedly underline this fixedly means in a fixed manner continuously gazing at that boy and asked what do you say to that swami what's your opinion about this boy and swami said i think he must have been a very strong and grown up person not a boy at all how could a boy fight a tiger papa father how is it possible for a boy like me to fight a tiger do you believe that i think uh, he uh, never be a boy i don't uh, accept that he would be he must be uh, an elder uh, boy or an elderly person grown up person underline please he must be he must have been a very strong man or a grown up well built up uh, um, person must be uh, he 100% he could not be uh, a boy like me father how is it possible so he asked a, he asked a, he asked an immediate question to his father to convince him that uh, how could a boy fight a tiger how is it possible if he were a boy like me how could he fight a tiger is it possible by me to fight with a tiger he asked so that was his opinion swami's opinion look at the way swami answers you think you are wiser than the newspaper the father was a little angry and he sneered underline sneer sneer means speak in a unkind way to speak in a unkind way so he, he felt something unhappy and uh, in an angry mood he asked so, so swami it is reported very clearly in the newspaper do you think you are wiser than the newspaper underline wiser than comparative degree wiser than okay degrees of comparison comparative degree yes so you think you are wiser than the newspaper because of that reason only it is true it's a fact the village lad fought 
a tiger fought with a tiger it is true it's a fact that's why it has been reported in the newspaper a man may have the strength of an elephant look at this so the father's words uh, to uh, the boys now uh, question how could a boy fight with a tiger he says very brilliantly and it is true also it's a fact also we have to think a lot about it it's very interesting he says that a man may have the strength of an elephant but yet to be a coward so most of the times it happens the people look very giant and very big but they will have the very you know child heart okay they, they feel fear a lot they do, they don't have bravery they don't have uh, something you know kind of guts uh, in their behavior and they feel fear at all so they would be coward coward means underline please coward means the people who feel fear a lot so they look very giant but they feel fear inside they are covered inside whereas another may have the strength of a, the strength of the straw so very uh, we use the straws to drink tender coconuts and all some people look very thin very thin but they are they are very strong from inside so that is what actually the father is trying to convince uh, to his son swami but if he has courage he can do anything they may look like straw but the size now their body size may be uh, equal to a straw but they are, they are very strong inside so if he has courage such people if they have a courage definitely he can do anything they can do anything so he says a very important line in the story courage is everything please remember this this is very very important a line uh, which is written by the writer courage is everything strength and age are not important so most of the times it happens like that so courage if we have courage it can definitely do anything so swami disputed the theory he did not agree with the dispute means swami did not agree uh, with the theory what his father said how can it be father he asked a question in turn how can it be father how is it possible i don't agree with you i disagree with you suppose i have all the courage what could i do if a tiger uh, should attack me all of a sudden if if uh, the uh, a tiger comes and it tries to attack on me what can i do i am a small boy okay i have the courage okay what what can i do if i ask the tiger will it will it leave me alone okay is it possible how, how what are you saying papa how is it uh, possible father he asked a question but his his father's intention was different because he was a lawyer remember the writer says he was a lawyer so his intention was different he wanted to uh, you know bring some kind of changes in the behavior of the boy and indirectly the father being a lawyer was trying to teach him some kind of courage to his son so that's why he said leave alone strength okay leave it man leave alone that strength that one this one and all okay tell me one thing can you prove that you are a courageous boy can you prove you have courage is it possible by you so it was the challenge put forth by swami's father before swami the boy let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room so the challenge was this between the father and son he asked okay see i want to see uh, i want to know whether you have courage or not okay you are a, whether you are a courageous boy or not what you should do so the challenge of the father was swami had to sleep alone in his office room alone so that was the way swami had to prove that he had courage so that was the challenge but it was very unkind for swami a frightful proposition underline frightful frightful means it was an unpleasant proposition proposition means suggestion or a challenge is it was it possible by swami or not it was a question swami thought what to do a father is asking such a very difficult uh, challenge he had always slept beside his granny in the passage beside his granny in the passage always that was his habit actually and father intentionally he had put a challenge if he had put that challenge to to sleep alone in the office room intentionally because to change swami's behavior regular behavior because swami had the bad habit of course it's a, it's a bad habit there is no doubt so for the father wanted to change his son's bad behavior but what was happening there in his house swami even though he was studying you uh, know in the in the you know uh, between middle school and high school a second secondary a second form student he was but still he was sleeping he had the habit of sleeping with his granny or at least his mother should be there with him 
so, so that that attitude or that behavior uh, that bad habit he had that's why he wanted to change it so he asked he had always slept beside he had always slept had slept past perfect tense it is he had always slept swami had always slept beside his granny in the passage Gran, granny means grandmother and any change in, in this arrangement kept him trembling and awake all night oh what to do if this changes are what happens for me if i uh, sleep alone without my granny or without my mother so that was actually going on or ringing in swami's mind when his father had asked him uh, that question or uh, uh, when his father had put uh, that challenge before him he hoped at first that father was only joking so he thought that actually his father was simply joking but actually not for his father was very serious he was a lawyer he was very very serious about his question that he wanted to make his son courageous and at least he wanted to know whether his son was a brave, a brave boy or not so he hoped at first that the father was only joking he, mum- he mumbled weakly mumbled means saying something very slowly in a, in a, in a whispering way yes he said yes anyway his father must be joking so anyway i should say yes first later he may say okay simply i said okay good boy you go and sleep as usual so he thought like the swami oh his father would say like that and no he said yes and tried to change the subject uh, he said actually see look at the wit look at the wit of the boy swami he said very loudly and with a great deal of enthusiasm he wanted to change the topic he wanted to digress from the main to- uh, main topic because he was not ready mentally swami was not ready to accept the challenge but simply for his self esteem he said yes but he wanted to digress it he wanted to change over it so he said we are going to admit even elders in our cricket club uh, here after father you know and we are buying brand new bats and balls you know our captain has asked me to tell you father yes we are going to admit even we are going to allow the elders also from now onwards do you know he asked, he said he wanted to change the topic but father was very well aware of it and he is ready with it and all we will see about that later father cut in you must sleep alone hereafter swami realized that the matter had gone behind his control from a challenge it had become a command he knew his father's tenacity at such moment so but you know in that situation anyway when he was fa- his father was very very well aware of it he was very tricky fellow swami he knew that because he was his father he knew his uh, attitude and behavior that's why he said okay okay no problem we will think about that we will talk about that later stop it he cut in cut in means in, you know he interrupted in between and he made swami to stop that uh, cock and bull stories and other things you must sleep alone here after that's all so he put a challenge and he made it a command so now actually in the beginning father's uh, idea was just a challenge to put a challenge but that was turned as a command so anyway swami realized that it was not possible to escape and then um, so because he knew very well his father's behavior his father's attitude and thinking style so that's why um, from the first of next month i will sleep alone father he said from from the first of next month i will sleep alone don't worry he said so we shall see uh, whether the father accepts or not and uh, whether swami agrees to sleep uh, alone in this in his, in his father's office room or not we shall see in the next part thank you so much for uh, listening watching this video and i am yogesh sayadri from chitradurga a lecturer in english and please keep on watching our videos and uh, this is the part 1 and uh, part 2 part 3 part 4 all uh, lessons uh, parts uh, different parts you can watch and get the knowledge i wish you all the best please don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends also and help everybody uh, okay uh, to learn the better uh, english knowledge and better uh, english subject knowledge and everything thank you so much have a nice day thanks a lot